now. Alright. No live. Alright, let's do it. Ah, yes. Nintendo Switch. Dun 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 dun. dun. Alright. So, how about we start off this Let's Play with Episode 1 of Pokemon Sword. And, of course, I'm going to start with the whitest character, because I'm technically white. I'll be my guy. And my name is, if you guys don't know this already, my name is Danny. And... Get this on. This is gonna be awesome. I can't wait. Whew. I'm. I was gonna do voices for the characters, but I'm not going to this time. Might do it for the shield and its wonderful. Majest majesty of uh, different stuff for uh, from a, for the series with Monday being max raid battles, Wednesday going to be uh, one year slash uh, surprise trade Wednesday and Friday will be uh, oh good lord what was it I can't remember what Friday was going to be but I'll let me check. Because I had it written down to one of my friends. Uh, yeah. And, yep. Nope. I, I didn't have a series for Friday, but we'll do something for Friday as well if you guys want to join in. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful, wonderful place, good lord, with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting away from, getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar's region's greatest Pokemon Trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match so of course everyone knows the three starters and I kind of went the direction I want to be because most of the time if you guys don't know me I usually choose the water starter except for when I played Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon I picked uh, Rowlet as the starter for my for my playthrough and then also in Moon, I think I got Jim uh, Lennon. I just didn't like Pope Leo's design. It just looked really bad to me. But I instantly fell in love with Sobble. I will be using uh, Score Bunny in the Shield version. But welcome to Pokemon Sword, guys. This is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna try to these out as as well as I can. I'm going to be doing at least four episodes today, and I'm probably going to do them 45 minutes to 30 to 45 minutes each. And so it's going to be fun. I'm definitely ready for this new region and becoming the champion. And there we are, just watching the exhibition match. Hello, hello? Oh, that your new, that your flash new phone, Danny? Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer Lee on would be 
his famous Charizard pose. I just love the way that they talk in this game. Mum, hop! Didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Danny. Never mind watching the match. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Danny. You should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I wouldn't forget the bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. So, of course, we got to look at all the stuff. Wake up our little Munchlax over here. Hi, Munchlax. Or is... I'm... 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 Good boy. Alright, let's get our stuff. Here's our hat. And our old dad's back. So this should be very interesting. I can't wait. I'm definitely changing my clothes once we get into the first town. <coughs> and of course we have Pikachu. And it's black and black. What the heck? That's weird. Because I have the red and black. Red and blue. Red and blue ones. Joy-Cons. So that's our bed. Alright, let's go to Ops house. I definitely like this game. I got shield on uh, digital and I've been further into shield than I am in this game. I just wanted to start this off with a fre fresh head of steam because unfortunately when I got sword and shield I was very tired. I wanted to do it on release day but never got a chance to because of being so tired. So today is going to be a four upload day and then I will continue the series on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Aha, have a look at you, Danny. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know if that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Silly Wooloo, what are you doing? A Wooloo? But what's it doing there? God dang it, Wooloo, stop. Are you going to make your sandwiches tomorrow? Yes. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle again on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows that there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering world. Meh? Oh, that silly Wooloo. Now that that's taken care of, how about Danny? Let's race. Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging or about that big old bag? <sighs> Hop, I can beat you, dog. You're not you're not that scary, my dude. Well, look at those butterflies butterfree butterflies butterfreeze flying around in the woolloo in the yard. I really love the graphics. A lot of people are just dissing on this game, but I really love this game so much. Power of Science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? I love how they did this. This The uh, guy in the town where he's talking about technology. A very big uh, homage to the first gen games. I love it. Alright. Oh crap. I lost my voice. Shoot balls. God damn it. I need to charge Damn you. Yeah, how'd you do that? It did it did it did oh, come here, you Alright, I'm gonna get my Alright, we're back. Oh. Of course my uh, headphones had to die, but yeah, let's get on to this. I'm so ready for this. And yeah, we're definitely going to make a series out of this. 
Definitely gonna try to do the Dynamax uh, crystals for her. Larvitar. Mom, is he here? There you are at last hop. Oh, and you've brought along Danny. Hello, dear. <coughs> yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in the uh, crammed in the cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only ju just arrived at the station in what Wedgehurst. That's where I'm going. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably for the best. You gotta come with me. You still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. So yeah, I definitely like this. We have a purloin over here. It's so cute. Oh, it's such a cute purloin. To hop his brother is a superhero. I got that from it already. I think this is their grandmother. Leon is so busy that he hardly comes home, but I would like to keep his room clean and tidy. So I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is Lee's uh, room. Ridiculous amount of stuff. Caps and everything. And of course we got Hop's room. Ah, uh, he's got the one. Wait, what? He's got Dynamaxing, Charizard, Machamp, and Gengar. Alright. Alright, let's go. That is such a cute curly. So, I don't know what I want to start out. I have a list of Pokemon that I want to get in this series. And I am definitely going to try to get them if I can. If anyone wants to help out, they can, but I don't know. Let's get a move on. Only remember, Danny, while well, Pokemon come could come out of nowhere if you walk through the patches of tall grass. I got my wool loot with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course, but not you, Danny. So steer, we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. <sighs> If only you didn't have Wulu. This is such a beautiful scene. Yeah, I know where to go. I've done this before. Yeet. Dude. And we're here. There is that Charizard. Hello, oh, oh, which hurts your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and your chars are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee. But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. True that. True that. That's true. too true. That Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the ch strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Oh, look, Charizard. <laughs> Lee! Hop! So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. 
Bingo. That's a sort of sharp eye that kept, kept you undefeated so long, Ailey. And these bright eyes over here. I got it. You must be Danny, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gallery Region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Danny. Bet I can beat the both of you back home. Uh, Hop is so... such a... Such a fast boy. That Hop. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Alright, let's go. I always wonder if Charizard is the one that takes us back or we just run back ourselves. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Danny and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everybody. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon Krooky, the fire type Pokemon Score Buddy, and the water type Pokemon Sobble. I think Score Buddy's cute. My man Sobble, oh, such a cute one. And of course, Krooky. It's not that I don't like Grookey's design, I just feel like it's just not something cool. I feel like Scorbunny and Sobble are the better ones. Oh, Sobble, don't cry. Grookey's like, hey, look at my stick. You can laugh at it. Alright, line up, everybody. Which will you choose? Love these scenes. Sixty. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Lulu after all. So as much as I like Grookey or dislike Grookey, Grookey's cool and all. Well, Score Bunny is really cool, and so is Sobble. That's the water type sobble. It adapts to anything as surely as water flows. Going with the water type sobble? Yes. You chose sobble. I'm not going to give a name to sobble just so they can have their names, but if I do like a nuzlocke or anything, yes, I would nickname sobble. <coughs> Yay! Sobble so cute. Oh my lord. So it'll be Sobble for you? Nice one. Then I'll go with Score Buddy. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. <laughs> Wooloo is so, so huge to Score Bunny. They're so tiny though. I bet you will be top. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Danny. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Ah, uh, poor Grookey. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict but real strong and real kind too. Alright, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. <laughs> Look at Sobble. <laughs> the next day. 
<laughs> you spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right, understanding one another? Maybe even build up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Danny's made fast friends with this hobble too. Then listen up, train it. new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Danny might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up to it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever battle of your life? Hell yeah. Believe in your par partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Those, do those two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose moves that suit you. Suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Alright, Hop. I hope you're ready for this thing. Look like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Are you sure, Hop? Are you sure about that? I don't think you're ready for this. I love how he has a Wooloo already. You got two Pokemon. You hacker. A Pokemon battle it is then. I've got two partners with me. I'm not happy that you have two Pokemon. Oh, Sobble's faster. Ooh. Damn, that was a critical hit. What? Come on. Tackle. Yeah. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. Send out Score Bunny. Alright, Score Bunny. It, it's time for you to go down. Did you already know about type advantages? Yes, Hop, I did. No critical hits for me. Just a critical hit from Hop. Alright, I see how you are, Hop. 15. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Sobble are too much. $4 for things, yes. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let Charizard let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Leon, really? You would let Charizard destroy two first stage Pokemon. Are you kidding? Like not even first stage Pokemon, baby stage Pokemon. Come on man, that would not have been fun. We would have been wrecked. Good effort out there, Sobble. Why don't I get you all sorted? Thank you, Leon. And Danny, you got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on, you've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? 
You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not putting the cart before the rapid jet ash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Danny. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is in. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Danny. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably, probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Yep, I am. <sighs> Dang, did you hear that just now? Oh, that silly Wooloo. The gates open, and the Wooloo that was there. <clears throat> it was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? Ha, come on now. Gate wide open, no Wooloo. But it's off limits. No one's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in the real state. That was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Dang, what do you say? We gotta go save it. Right. Even if we're not supposed to do this, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Danny. Okay. I was gonna tell Mom, but that's all good. Let's go. Let's see these Pokemon. The Slumbering Weld. I like the music though. This game has really good music. I don't understand why people are just downing on it. That Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this may be trouble. Oh, it's a squall bet. I don't like squall bet. Squall bet's design is a little too, uh, yeah. Cheeks are a little too fat for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, in my digital version of Pokemon Shield, I'm already at. I'm going for my sixth gym, which is really fun. It's a really good game. I really like the graphics. I love the Pokemon designs, and they might be the one that I want to get here. We're going on ahead. Ah, so I don't care. It's another one. It's a rookie. I want to have this on my team, but at the same time, I want to have different Pokemon. On my team as well. Water gun. Clear. <coughs> do, 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 do. I definitely like the rookie's design and the fact that it evolves into uh Court Knight is awesome. It's a very interesting stage one Pokemon. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Yeah, it was. And we have a Squawbat as well. Again, I don't like Swobit's design, my dude. It's the only 
real Pokemon that I think just they just wasted on. Oh, there might be one that I keep on the team later on in Route 2. I'm not in the mood of training everything right now. Come on, Danny, that woo might be in real trouble. Yeah, I'm trying to ditch you, Hop. Really. And here we go, into the fog we go. This is what we call into the fog. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Definitely like this scene. This scene's awesome. What in the? Hello there, Zacian. Or... Unknown man, a known Pokemon that I don't know what it is. You're big. In what level are you? I don't know. Water gun. <laughs> Go, Sobble. Attack this unknown Pokemon. This the mysterious Pokemon is glaze is on you. What? The move had no effect. Let's try this again. What even is going on? Oh no, here comes the fog. This is when... Danny, I can't see anything. You okay? No, I'm scared. I'm scared. What is going on? Even more fog. What is going on? I can't see anything. I love that. Ooh, uh, sounds like something happened. That should be like the uh, Star Wars troop, Star Trooper going. Ah! That one's always funny. And here we are, unconscious on the ground. Is my Sabo okay? Where did my Sabo go? Ah, Danny. Oh, good lord. What, Lee? How did you manage to find your way here? You're pants with direction. You'll always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the little Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. That little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted, fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wooloo's alright. Yeah, Danny. I thought we had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seems low stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just has this sort of presence. Our moves did, didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seem to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering well, are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. <laughs> Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Up. Stop trying to be cool, dude. <laughs> your legend's gonna end. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. 
You're worse than Lee di just did. Okay. Poor Slick. This is such a cool starting town. What? Well, now, isn't Sobble just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. And I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to wedge her, Sergeant Chief. Here, here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that the Sobble will battle to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. What? And you, Sobble, look at her there, my little Danny. Come home to rest anytime that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Let's see what we got in our bag. Pokeballs, potions, and the adventure kind of fishing rod. <coughs> okay, we need to change the options, yes. To fast, all flex, give nicknames, gyro spear, yeah. Virtual, critical, casual, I'm gonna put this on, and uh, yeah, we're gonna show nicknames, and we're gonna keep this off, so be set and end, yes, I do. And if you guys have not gotten this, get what, mystery gift? This is also how you get the uh, special meow. I can please stand by. So we're gonna get this Gigantamax meow. It's a meow. Go check out your party! And, uh, we got the level 5 Meowth. What's your ability? What's your thing? Pick up? What? You're pretty jolly, so you get speed and lower special attack. Payday's physical, so. Wait, what is your attack? Okay, a lot of. <coughs> Pretty lonely, so uh, attack is up and defense is down. God damn it. Really horrible thing, but we got Gigantamax uh, Meowth. So now we got two Pokemon. Alright, let's go. Let's catch some Pokemon. Here we go, this is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Scorp Bunny a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white Pokeball ball mark out of the front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, except for I want to catch some Pokemon, dude. What Pokemon is this? We got a Squalbat. Eh. It's not one of the Pokemon that I want to put on my team. I can already tell you that. We're like level 7. And <laughs> they're level 5. Dang, that Squalbat's a little tougher. Okay. So what? Yeah, no. Definitely not the first Pokemon I'm going for. Pound it. Yay, level 8. Yes, thank you. I might get, I, I might get this, boogity, 
¿Por qué dinero opina eso? <coughs> A nerve, ok. Are in this boy. Nice hit. Jeez. Awesome. Caught it. Alright. Now, Rigid has been added to your Pokédex. Your Pokémon. Your party. Is it a Nicket or it's a Skull Fret? No, I don't want that. I don't want to it. Yay, potion. Yeah, we got Ruggedy. Alright, come on, show me naked. It is a squabat as well. Hmm. That is annoying. Please be naked. Ah, oh, it's still Squabats. I think this is a good part to start wrapping up this episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm going to continue the episode on episode 2. Thank you guys for watching and have a good night.